Welcome back to the channel. Since the last video, I sold the 2004 Chevy Suburban. Um, and I don't know if you noticed in the last video, there was a vehicle off to the side, which was the replacement for the 2004 Chevy Suburban. Um, that vehicle um, will now become my new daily driver. It will also be my new project. So I'm gonna do some minor cosmetics to it and some minor modifications. Um, I'm going to walk you through what I have and then um, tell you a little bit about what I got. Um, so what I got is the 2005 Nissan Armada. This is a full size SUV. This vehicle seats eight. Uh, it does have three rows of seats. Uh, it does sit on a full frame, uh, truck frame. It sits on the same platform as the Nissan Titan. These vehicles here are very good vehicles. I own one in the past. Um, I own one in the initial year that it came out in 2004. Um, I enjoyed the vehicle. However, during that time, um, it, it just didn't suit my needs at that point. So I ended up getting rid of the vehicle. This will be a vehicle that I'm actually, again, not going to flip, not going to just get rid of, but I'm going to keep this vehicle uh, as long as possible. Um, this vehicle is a one owner with me being the second owner. Um, the, sun, the hood is a little sun-baked, the roof is a little sun-baked, but I've been told that if you uh, pour water on it and you still have some shine, there is some opportunity to save it. We'll see how true that is because I'll be, again, working on this as my daily driver as well as a project. Since I've owned this vehicle, I did do a little work off camera. Um, the first thing I did was I had the tires replaced all the way around. The second thing was the driver's side window did not roll up when I first got it. So I had the window regulator inside. I got a new one, replaced it. That's why you see the glue residue from the tape that was holding the glass in place. That's why you see it's still sitting there. So that's got to be cleaned off. I've replaced the wiper blades all the way around on the vehicle. I've also done a few things on the interior, such as replace the... Um, the second row seat belt on the driver's side i replaced that because the latch was broken so i did replace that and i also replaced the rear cup holder on the second row it doesn't match i'll show it to you shortly but it doesn't match as of right now but at least it's a cup holder in there because the one that was there was missing when i got the vehicle so um, there are a few different things as you're noticing on the vehicle, such as the little screws that are sitting in the hatch release. Um, so let me walk you through it. One, again, like this is a one owner. So the previous owner felt it was easier to open and close the hatch by putting a couple of screws in there just to kind of hold it in place instead of replacing the hatch. I don't blame them for the time being. Again, uh, it was just what they chose to do at that time. However, um, I'm going to do it right. I've already started some modifications and some repairs, and that will be one of the things that's online for me to do. Um, I've taken this car through inspection. It did not pass. So the good thing is now I know what needs to be done. So there are a few things that I did again offline, but now there's some things that will have to be done to make this road worthy. First things first, I will need to replace, uh, either repair this exhaust here, that's not good so that's going to need to be replaced um the catalytic converters um and the intake manifold will need to be replaced as well so we're pretty much looking at um i'm trying to do it as uh as budgetary as possible so i'm trying to make sure that um i don't spend a fortune on it but i want to make sure that it's done and it's done right so i'll be looking at Definitely replacing the catalytic converters on both sides, which are the uh, bank one and bank two for uh, the catalytic converters for this vehicle. Since they tend out of the factory to have a manufacturer's defect where they're actually cracked and they leak, that'll need to be done. I'll also need to be replace the muffler. I think I can replace the muffler and then I can add a, an additional um maybe in a, a pipe or some sort in between there and then clamp it down so i can hold the exhaust pipe itself along with the new muffler i'll have that done so it'll be almost almost half the exhaust system i'll be looking at replacing i'm trying to avoid doing it all one of the other things that i failed on inspection were the uh, front brakes there was a pulsating feeling in there so 
uh, I will need to replace the front brakes and rotors. Um, and since I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to change the front brakes and rotors as well as the rear brakes and rotors. So let me walk you through uh, the inside. The interior is not in the best of shape. I mean, for the age, I guess it's okay. I'll need to, I'm going to try to save the seats and try to repair. This is the passenger side. I'm going to try to repair this passenger side if I can, as well as the driver's side. As you can see, it's not in the best of shape. At the very worst case, I'll clean the seats and the interior, and then I'll be putting a seat cover over top of them. If I can stitch them together, then I'll put a seat cover over them just to try to hold it in place. I'll also need to replace this rear HVAC knob here, which controls the flow of the heat in the rear. Um, and I'll be doing that. I've also charged the AC, so the AC actually works in this vehicle. Heat works in this vehicle. The Blendor actuator is a little funny, uh, but they still work. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to what I have for right now. Only doing the necessary repairs for now, and then I'll be moving through as you'll see in the journey, I'll be moving through and making sure that things, um, minor modifications and things of that nature are done. This is what I was talking about, the rear cup holder that did not, um, that wasn't there before. I replaced it with one that, uh, again, it doesn't quite match. Obviously, it doesn't. But, um, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and if I find one over time, I'll go ahead and replace it. In the meantime, I'm holding what I have. Um don't mind the things that are in the back. I have the third row seat laid down. I've been doing some things. This, again, this is a work truck for me. It will be my daily driver. Um, but um, I'm going to be taking those things out and cleaning out the back. I've changed the oil in it. I didn't mention that. I did change the oil. I did change the oil pressure sensor. I think I did mention that earlier. Um, but also, it failed on the third brake light. So there will be need, there will need to be some work done as far as replacing that third brake light. Um, in order to do that, I'll need to make sure that the hatch itself, the hatch glass actually releases. Right now it doesn't. The hatch itself releases. Um, let me show you. Um, the hatch itself actually releases. The problem is, uh, again, this, oh, I did the oil change. You can see all the junk in the back. That'll be cleaned out. Um, I had to put it someplace after I cleaned out the Suburban and I did the oil change and the other maintenance that needed to be done to this. Um, but there will be some things that need to be done. So I am looking at getting it done and getting it done as soon as possible because again, this will be my daily driver. And uh, so yeah, there'll be some minor customizations that I'll be looking at doing. Um, so this vehicle being the SC, and this, especially in this SC model, it does not have fog lights. So I'm going to be replacing those fog lights. Um, and I'm going to try to have it as factory set up as possible. So I'll be looking um, to replace it with the factory line if possible. I'm going to do that. I actually was able to locate a replacement for it. And this is the factory one. Um, the turn signal switch, I mean the, uh, excuse me, the headlight switch. And this actually has the fog light setting as you can see here. So I'll be doing that. Alright. Anyway, um, I know this is a short one, but I just wanted to walk you through what I'm doing. And uh, my next steps with this. There's a little bit of minor rust repair that needs to be done to clean it up. And make sure that it's all in line. But the main thing that will need to be done to make it roll where the obviously all the brakes and rotors and the exhaust uh, system repair that will need to be done in order to make it road worthy in order for it to pass inspection so stay tuned for the next one and i'll be talking to you soon in the meantime you guys stay safe